Hello! Alright, so I am currently in a Discord with my friends. Uh, we are getting ready to start up our group screw dream. Hi, Sleazy. And uh, we have our friends uh, Lou and Emma and Trico, who's going to be joining us for Monster Prom today. So this is my first group stream. Uh, I just got startled because I think my sister turned the Xbox on in the living room without remembering that it's currently in the bedroom. So that's my bad. Uh, but I'm going to undeathen myself so we can hear everybody. Hi! Uh, and then uh, at some point, we're going to start having uh, a prom. So here's my prom dress. I did my best to start up. Okay. I think she doesn't realize the Xbox is in here and she keeps turning it on. She'll remember soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Cute character art. Hi, guys! <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. Oh no, I just realized it has the, the join code on here. I don't think anyone's going to join on my stream, but I'm going to unplug oh, well, the Xbox. My sister is in the living room. I think she forgot the Xbox is in the bedroom with me, and I think she keeps turning it on, and now she's confused. <laughs> so it scared me the first time it came on. I was like, oh, that's weird. But, uh, we'll this make our own voices. Yeah, I clicked that option. You have to join our group, the group thingy. Yep. Yeah. Wait, oh, shoot. How could you? You're not here now. I I'm trying, I'm trying. I just see a play. I need to hear where's join. Online, that's why it is. I'm I just... giving you a follow, oh, even though you. stream does not, or. Er Twitch does not really like me watching more than one stream at a time. Uh, well, actually, no, it is running both at the same time. Yeah, no, sometimes, you're, good. you're fine. Sometimes you I watch two follow. people at once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Typically, it's it's Iron Mouse, though. Yeah, I figure I probably won't promote anything and live out permission, but, you know, we'll get to that when we get to that. You can <laughs> promote whatever you like. I oh, already said okay. if you do a one shot, I'll join you one of your, your guys' games. Yeah, I would love to do that. I um I I have to find more time because there's so many games and so little time. That's yeah, true. Yeah, I'm having that problem right now too. Yeah. Currently my sister's in two campaigns right now. It's on Wednesdays and Fridays, which is typically when I stream because she's not in the house. Yeah, if I count I have two main games. Um one of them I am DMing, and then if we count one shots, um, Emma has a one shot that's technically not done that I'm in, <laughs> that they're DMing, and then um, I have uh, so many of Sage's games, um, and then I have another friend who's like, "Hey, our regular game can't play. Let's do a one shot that's holiday themed," and I'm like, "Hey, what are you doing again? <laughs> I mean, holiday themes like the best, like. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, you can make an awesome Nightmare Before Christmas one shot. Ooh. True. Yeah. Um, his, I think, is meant to be like a horror Christmas thing. Um, because I Krampus? Think it's something like, yeah, I think it's Krampus, actually. And um, I don't know a lot of details, but like, you know, I was just in a conversation where, like, are we playing this weekend? I'm like, no, I'm going to a convention. I, I, I won't be able to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. October's I already so busy. There's so Aww. much happening. I mean, can. it's it'll be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. But it is, uh, it is. We got this show, and then one more, and then we're done for the year. I always nice forget because by October I can't take time off. <laughs> yeah, right. I usually can't take time off for the November show because I'm just like I'm tapped for time, and also I'm so tired. It's true. And, uh, That's a the daily. days get shorter, and my yeah. energy goes down, and I'm like, it's a small show. You don't really need me. <laughs> It'll be <laughs> fine. Like, see you later. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't want to drive that far by myself to go to this. Maybe if I had a buddy, but that's a big maybe. Yeah, but you have Sage to drive with now. Exactly. I mean, actually, because the show is a Friday through Sunday show, I won't because I have to work. Oh. So, and then, but this next weekend, I'm going to get off work early on Friday, and then I'll be at the show, and then I'll probably come home Sunday before the show ends, because that's that's all I got to give. We're still just waiting on, on Trico to join us. Yeah, what's the ID again? 144. One Woohoo! Woo! Woo! We 
little full house. Full house, let's go. What if I hit the wrong button accidentally? Ooh. How do I hit that I want to... Is it just A? I don't know. Only <gasps> one of us... Oh, we have to hit the... Do we have to turn Did our screen? I just close yep. it? Oh my god. Uh, I closed it. <laughs> oh uh, no, disconnected. It's now 566. I was trying to hit my... I what? use a controller. I'm so sorry. Totally the first good. one totally was good. a practice round. Yeah, it was practice round. Okay, yeah. so we... Warm up game, warm up game. In okay. my defense, have I'm a, I have an Xbox controller plugged into my thing, so I just assumed that I could hit A and instead it exited the match. <laughs> You know, that's fair. Every time I play a game on Windows and it's like, you have a controller? Well, obviously you have an Xbox controller. And I'm like, no, actually I don't. And I don't remember which one's A. Oh God. I was getting so bad at playing like Switch games and then switching to my <laughs> Xbox controller and it's backwards for A and B. So I kept closing mm -hmm. things. Treat oh though, yeah. It's 566 six, yeah. just in case. Me switching right. from Switch to PlayStation, like, that's even it's it's less <sighs> of an issue but i still mess up every time i play dreamlight valley i start like closing windows or hitting the wrong window <laughs> and just crying about it the whole time i'm like i'm oh, so no. so mm -hmm. silly what was the number again five six six yep i did that it says it says, it says match not found five six six uh, Yeah, look, see, like, look, look on my screen right here. There's oh God, no. two Lulu babies. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the button. I was like, what does this do? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's all me. It's all me. Or What's maybe it's because, maybe it's because you have it set as ready, Lou. Try unreadying really quick. Oh, okay. okay. Now try five, six, six. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. Yay. It was me. <laughs> it was me I'm, all along. It was not the problem. It's me. <laughs> uh, okay. I was trying to use my controller, but it doesn't want to connect. Already match. <laughs> Which, by okay. the way, Yoon is my yeah. sister's uh, thing name, not mine. <laughs> oh, do you want a full game or a, sh a short game? Do you want a long snake or a short snake? Um, I mean... Depends on uh, if anybody has a bedtime. <laughs> I I don't have a bedtime. 120 minutes is like most of a Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah. Um. Um. I mean, it's two you... hours. Yeah. Did you still want to do multiple playthroughs? Well, I, I thought it said it was only an hour long game, which is why I said we could probably play it more than one. But I would just say if it's a uh, 120 minutes, we just do a full game. It's, okay. it's not it's not One that long game. like yeah. it's actually more of an hour like the okay. 90 minutes is a grace period i feel like oh i'm gotcha. talking about the full game though the full game is the about full snake okay we'll do full game because i've never played it so i'm curious hey who's gonna be the narrator <gasps> ooh, 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 emma emma okay uh i can do that it's like you have more voices in your repertoire I, I hope so. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been practicing. Nice. Go, a lot of it, let's do this. A, a lot of it's screaming, though, so. That's okay. Oh. Thank you. Uh, I won't scream this. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Um, I think you got it. Okay. <laughs> Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. <gasps> who are Ooh. you? Choose player one. Oh. Oh man, who do I want to be? I'm going to be this person. Green? Oh wait, can <laughs> I, I, I can't Green change. Green Brian. Brian, custom <laughs> name. <laughs> Gonna go with a custom name. Is this gonna be Bun? Bun Bun. Bun. Oh, Bun Bun. bun. Yeah, that works. Okay. I don't. Bun Bun zombie. Bun it, Bun zombie. He can still be a he. Okay. A zombie. Uh, That's fair. I mean, it's psycho. It works. It me. I just Where's realized I could have went with psycho. 
missed opportunity. That would have hit more like, than a zombie. That's <laughs> true. I thought about two seconds too late. I also don't know if lowercase was an option. Um, it's too late to find out about that either. <laughs> Why am I yeah, not? I like, I like Bun Bun. Bun Bun's good. Are you selecting? Who's or player two? Who's player two? Who was the second one that joined the, the group? Oh, is it me? Oh, oh, oh you're the last. Oh, okay. That's weird. I, I thought, oh, I, yeah, I thought that was random. weird. Oh, okay. Maybe it's random, yeah. Found is good, I've been oh. told. Thank you. Did you Thank hit you. ready second? Maybe. Oh, that's fair. I'm Shadow Boy. Okay, so it's my turn. I have to be the flame girl. That's fair. Love her. I just like that they're just like the color. They're like red. I'm red. red. Yellow. I'm red. Team red. Vicky's my favorite too, so this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's right. Hi, I've never played this game for anybody watching. Everybody else <laughs> has. So I don't know so, anybody. <gasps> there was I've... uppercase and lowercase, but you know what? I guess a zombie ah. would do all. Yeah, that makes sense. I I could just be Lou. You could be whatever. Loodle. You could be Lulu because then I'm Bun Bun. Okay. Uh, All right. Who are you gonna pick? So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was quick. It did. Oh Did yeah, you? I guess you could use a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is on a PC. You're right. I didn't even think about it. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, eh, uh, and we have yet to experience its ultimate challenge: the monster prom. I'm waving my arms like people can see me. Uh, I mean, they can kind of see you. Yeah. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Miranda <gasps> Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Aww. Damien LaVey, 21, a fearless demon with the taste for destruction and a love of fire. Ah. Scott Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Big himbo energy. Nice. <laughs> Liam DeLioncourt, 400 something, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was a truly lovable dork. How old yeah. do you have to be to be at this school? That's kind of concerning. <laughs> uh, he's like Legal. In teens. <laughs> Holly Geist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, Aww. 23. A mean, self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Okay, they're all pretty cute. They're mm -hmm. great. It was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? Because no one dates we'll... in this world. What? <laughs> <laughs> we only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we ha only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. I appreciate how this is like the uh, legally distinct and adult version of Monster High. Yeah, <laughs> so true. <laughs> I should have brought my but Monster I... High dolls. <laughs> <laughs> But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Let's go. Like, oh god, am I ready? <gasps> the Table. DLC character is not in it, though. Oh, yeah. Zoe's uh, not here. Is, is she not in this season, or do we not have no, the right I, version? I, I don't it's think DLC I'm, characters. Yeah, I don't think... Expansion stuff. Is Sorry. there someone who doesn't have the DLC? I thought I had the DLC. Um, it's probably me. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know or I would have grabbed it. That's yeah, okay. It's okay. This is good for a first run through. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. Woohoo! All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Oh dear. Worry no more. We're you now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. I've always Yay. wanted to know. It's true. Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Oh no. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! Woohoo! Yay! Oh, this is All a cute right. school. 
Yeah. yeah. All right. You so, wish she were raised by. Are we getting the Are we getting the same questions? Yeah, I believe yeah. we all answered the same one. Okay, a pack of wild wolves who also happen to be tech, tech mongols who own some of the most profitable companies of Silicon Valley. They would be kick-ass role models and wild wolves. Sick. A mysterious old man who saved me from the streets in order to raise me as his disciple in the ancient ways of rad DJing. A really progressive marriage between a kick-ass venomous snake and actual fire. I love fire, and I see no issue with being raised by it. <laughs> if he's a zombie, I don't think he would love fire. Am I supposed to answer for myself or for him? You, uh, you, you mm, are Bun Bun. You. you are the Bun Bun. I am the zombie. Oh, no. Yeah, you are a zombie. This could be a progressive zombie who's okay with fire. That's true. Yeah. I mean, most zombies burn, though. All right, second one is. Oh, oh, oh it's me. I thought we all picked at the same time. Again, I can't see your screen, so that's fair. Oh. You had well, to watch I have, me. <laughs> I have to pick fire. I mean, pick that makes fire. sense. Oh, I'm picking the red DJ. <laughs> so wealthy, so fun, so bold. Oh, exposed. <gasps> all right, which god do you pray to each night before sleeping? Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some. Deities, <laughs> Dionysus. Oh man, I can't say that one. Bastius. Bastet. 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 Loki, coolest cats in town. Oh snap. Oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers oh. every night. I've even started to look for a Chinese factory to outsource the prayers. Praying is for fools. I took comp comp oh my gosh, compromising pictures of a god molesting a tree, and now I blackmail him for whatever I want. A lot more effective. Oh, Damn. that's the picture up on the top left. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with I like Dionysus, so we'll go with that one. All right. Oh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with uh, the same one actually. I like Di Dionysus is a cool guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think. Let's do... Let's outsource some prayers. So charming, so wealthy, so smart. Are they all the same answers over there? Your partner just gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, but you totally forgot. Quick, come up with an idea for a great gift. A pony. Always a pony. <laughs> Always a pony. <laughs> the head of their fiercest enemy. Anything capable of leading them to an overdose of some sort? Anything on fire. Or a weapon. No, no. A weapon on fire. A silly toy that makes silly noises. The abstract concept of gratefulness. Oh God! <laughs> this just feels like like doing like hand gestures like this. You see, interpretive dance. I'm gonna go with a pony. I'm a pony at heart. I'm a pony lover. Okay. Um, I can't pick the head of their fiercest enemy because I don't want to destroy the like homoerotic uh, nature of a nemesis relationship. That would be very rude. Like this is hot. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't do that. Um, hmm. Hmm. I really thought you'd pick fire, honestly. Yeah. I really like weapons on fire. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Silly toy makes silly Aww. noises. The toy is good. It's good. Oh, oh that is such a Scott thing. <laughs> oh. Squeaky noises. All right. So now you pick where you want to go. Oh, yeah. but are we still like as a group? Is this like D and D? Are no, we no, doing this, this is together? Individual. This is this part is individual. This part yeah. is individual. And uh, uh, only one person can pick a location, so I don't think we can double up and yeah. hover oh, really? over the rooms. It should show you what trait is associated with that room, so you'll build up traits based on where you go. Yeah, the traits on the right side is what's going to win you the person you would like to go for. The traits on the right side yeah the top yeah, right top right the numbers smart your, bonus your creative charms fun mm. money how did i get with money yeah. how's money my top chart <laughs> it depends on who you want to get with <laughs> but it only shows me like is that my stats mm. yeah i'm a zombie yeah. with six smarts you Jeez. sure are you're, you're smart zombie i'm smarts uh, outdoors smart. sounds cute okay yeah looks like there's a party 
that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Whoa. There's a lot of people in the school. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain two fun. I love how you became the narrator. But that's my part. That's me. That's you. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot Scott and Miranda staring intently at a picture of a seahorse. <gasps> oh, wait, are we going to do voices for individual characters? Yeah. So who's who's going to do Scott? Do Scott. Flip a I coin. Got Scott. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I actually can do oh. Scott. Sorry. I <laughs> oh, yeah. Go before. ahead. One second. All right. Um... <clears throat> This looks like a cute sea house. Um, Maria, what are you so worried about? Oh, who wants to be a mermaid girl? I'll do well, it. Okay, yeah, Louie. Okay. Sorry. Well, you see, one of my daddy's subjects gave me this horse as a gift. And, well, you've heard... Well, well, well you've heard what they say, haven't you? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? Who are they? What do they say that? What's in there? I don't know. That's why I'm so distraught. I am terrified that I will accidentally look into this gift horse mouth and see... Oh. Oh, I see! A gross butt? Another tiny horse? A world without sports? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Mmm, <gasps> oh, come on, Maria. You gotta find out. You gotta like find out for uh, what's that thing, M Mrs. Ferratu? I don't know how to pronounce the name. Ferratu. Ferratu. Uh, he's always talking about uh. Science. Yeah, for science. You got it right. You realize Scott's looking to you for your opinion. They both are. What do you think Miranda should do? Oh. Don't you ever look that gift horse in the mouth. In fact, breed it with sea urchins to produce gift horses with tiny mouths. <laughs> look that gift horse right in its damn mouth. They only, they only say not to because they don't want you to be finding all the delicious mouth candy. That sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mouth so candy. Miranda is clearly pleased with your suggestion. When you run into her the next day, all her previous anxiety seems to have gone. I take your marvelous suggestion to the logical next level. I had my father's genetic wizards combine my gift horse with a sea urchin. Wow. Whatever horrible thing was lurking between those horse lips, they're now too tiny for me to see it. <laughs> the horse is a little bit spiny now, but I think that just adds to his charm. Aww. That's cute. It's so cute. I can tell he loves it because of the deeply pained expression in his tiny watery eyes. <laughs> oh no. That works so well. You wonder why you don't solve all problems with genetic manipulation. You gain two <laughs> creativity and one smarts. Nice. You're so smart. I'm so, so smart. smart. So smart. Uh, it's, um, oh, I uh, just realized you really wanted what? to go after that DLC character. I did, but I'll I'm wait. So I, sorry. No it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll play, <laughs> I'll, I'll play along. There's there's another character I like to go for. She's not normally my type, but you know what? She's hot. So we can, That's go, fair. We can go for it. Let's go for her. Like, literally? Um, is that one on fire? No. There are no That's losers in this game. That's true. No losers. Except for people who don't get Only to monsters. There. Oh, do I need to read this one because I'm playing this character? Oh. I mean, I could read it if you want. Oh, okay, cool. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Ha. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Oh, I'll get my hair nice and groomed. That's true. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give Logic. plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Yay. Later in the halls, you run into Polly and Liam, who seem to be talking about some kind of flyer. The flyer's for an upcoming music festival, Howlapalooza. <gasps> so we agree that. on everything for oh. Friday, right? Sorry, I picked one. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, pretty much. And Saturday, we should totally go to the messier chumps and imagine a fucking dragon. 
Yep. Sure, those bands are great. And then at 3 a.m., I want to check out the guy in the parking lot who just makes a cacophony for two hours. Mm -hmm. Ghosts are super into cacophonies, but at 3 a.m., I want to go to MC Griffin. I mean, it's a freaking griffin that raps. It's the hottest shit right now, Liam. You know, the hottest shit right now isn't the criteria I use to pick artists I want to see, right? A griffin that raps, Liam. Ah, <laughs> uh, there should be a better way to decide this other than repeating our choices in a loud, annoying tone. But I love the loud, annoying tone thing. I know, still. Go ahead, don't be shy. You might have the ultimate trick for how to choose the best schedule trick. for this music festival. Trick! <gasps> it's destiny. <What>? Oh. <laughs> Um, get into as much wisdom as possible until some kind of spirit animal appears and shares its wisdom with you. Or don't fight over this. The one who wins will get their uh, artist live get their artist live for a uh, hour or two. But the one who loses will get about it until the end of time. Ah, um, I'll probably do this one. Dangerously high amounts of Anna. Oh my gosh, high Ayahusta? Aya Aya Ayahuska? You sure know how to charm a lady! Oh. That sounds problematic. Isn't it like cultural appropriation or something? <gasps> Don't worry, <laughs> Liam. If we acknowledge it as cultural appropriation, then it's so not that bad. It's called lampshading. I do it all the time to avoid guilt. Also, the only thing I pretend to appreciate is a kick ass, mind blowing. Nope. Hi! <laughs> yes! Just a hi. Not yeah. sure you're right, but okay, let's go with it. Actually, I heard that's pretty hip right now. And by pretty hip right now, you mean the hottest shit right now, huh? <laughs> oh, I love a good old Alahaska <laughs> night. I wonder what spirit animal will reveal itself to us a coyote with a deep voice, a turtle full of wisdom, a jellyfish that's super into breakdancing. Oh, I'd see them. <laughs> I, I love that the reference. coyote one. He gives the best <laughs> advice ever. <laughs> well played, sir. You got Paulina super hyped about this, and also she finds cacophony super funny when she's high. So I have a strong <laughs> hunch we'll be seeing my thing. Whoa. By all means, feel free to join us. You seem pretty clever, and you also know how to manage our lovely, crazy, ghostly friend. Oh, she's a ghost. I thought she was water for a minute. <laughs> you joined them, and despite what you might have hoped for, it all happened off-game. But it was pretty rad, and you know what? In the end, you got the jellyfish who was super into breakdancing. Oh, you gained yeah. plus two fun and plus two creativity. Hell yeah. Ooh. Jellyfish. Yes, love jellyfish. Go. I love jellyfish, too. Oh, Boom. God. Okay. I have to decide where to go. So many places. Class. Who goes to class? <laughs> uh... School's for losers. Auditorium. I mean, some of these people are 400 years old. Why are they still in school? Maybe they just like the books. Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like books. Graduating I... is also for losers. Apparently. Oh, man. This is hard to choose. Um, I guess I'll do the auditorium. Oh. Don't be narrator? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> Do you want to okay. narrate your own life? <laughs> <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, it is though it it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <coughs> Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school plays standards. You gain plus two creativity. Oh damn. Afterwards, you see Polly and Damien eating some delicious-looking cookies. Hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the Agents of Chaos? I'm trying to get my Destructive Capitalism badge. Oh my god. She looks so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> She's adorable. I love that. The best, the best. All proceeds go directly to the Uprise of Chaos over an order. And it's a tax, de tax deductible. 
as I was set fire to the nursing home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loudly in my head that my teeth rattled. It told me of an ancient order as it was described to me in a thousand voices. Blood trickled from my ears. And then the voices gave me a badge for harassment of the Edel. And I earned my first badge for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of them and then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. My goal is to get enough badges that Polly will make a bikini out of them and wear it and then nothing else everywhere forever. I wonder what badge we should go for next and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. Alright. You know what's crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever. Destroy the institution of marriage. <laughs> Chaos is always better with some sensible agony. Replace all the water in the school with swarms of mosquitoes. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Those are both good choices. I'm gonna have to go with the maximum chaos. Maximum chaos. I mean, nothing is quite as chaotic, as miserable as being covered head to toe in bug bites. And I have ghost skin, so there's no way I can accidentally be caught in the middle of this. Yeah! If any of those little mother efforts try to come near me, I'll just torch them. Miserable min- Oh my god. Miserable minutia. <laughs> Miserable <laughs> minutia badge, here we come. Go team! The three of you immediately set to work, draining all of the school's pipes of water and funneling in swarms of live mosquitoes instead. Yay! 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 <laughs> Students trying to take a drink of water suddenly find themselves with a mouthful of winged parasites, dealing the blood from their tongue and gums. Ah. Fun. Students sit down on the toilet only to have their genitals accosted by thirsty, pointy oh, bus no. guy. Uh. Ouch. Students go to wash their hands and then are unable to use them for the rest of the day because of how swollen they are from dozens and dozens of itchy, awful bites. We're heroes! Order mother effing obliterated! What a delightful prank for everyone involved! Later in the week, you see Damien and Polly proudly displaying their miserable minutia badges. Agents of Chaos, one. Order, zero. And you gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Nice. Oh boy, where can I go? Ooh. I can go to class, <gasps> or the library, or the gym. Those are all good choices except for class. Um, let's see. Well. Let's get bold. That day an epic yeah. dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. You see hordes of your classmate running away from Vera and Scott. They're all screaming, SPOILERS! Have you seen the latest episode of Detective Wereweasel? Wereweasel finally exposed the cartel's entire operation. I did! I was so excited. I peer on grandmother's carpet. I know, right? And the cartel's organizational structure is so cool. I took so many notes. But last night was the last episode. I was so sad. I peed on grandmother's carpet. Well, why don't we start our own TV show? We'll make it better than Wereweasel. Better than Wereweasel? Is that even possible? We are the perfect team. I have money. And you have a gullible target audience. Gorgona Flynn Film Studios requires your ideas. Oh, Scott Gorgona Film Studios? We'll talk about that later. Right now, I need ideas. Alright, when the Mafia threatens to close his gym, an ugly-ass Nosferatu <laughs> must expose the Syndicate to save the only place that lets him do his reps. Chile, 1985. When Pino Pinochet? Pinochet. Pinochet. 
floods the market with black cocaine, a courageous drug dealer becomes a private eye to blackmail Pinochet to save her coke, and my screen is cut off the last word. Labs? Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, let's do that. Did you just create the most rel relatable detective ever? That was a rhetorical question. Obviously, a, a young upper entrepreneur fighting to save her business from a government regulation is objectively relatable. <gasps> She's a drug trafficker. She's a businesswoman protecting free markets. Doesn't that sound to you like the Monsterican dream? <laughs> I didn't think about it in this way, but she's a buff entrepreneur. Like, really buff? Sure. Why not? Hooray! All my objections have been slowly disappeared! Vera puts you and Scott to work, stuffing packets of promotional cocaine to publish publicize the show. Promotional. You, you <laughs> gave plus three money as a payment. Uh, Vera's like literally Cleo, mm. Denial, and uh, oh gosh, New Score God's <laughs> actual child. Oh yeah. my goodness. Mm -hmm. Decide player oid, or should I do random so it's fun? We, oh, ooh. challenge is pretty fun. Let's okay. do challenge. Challenge sounds like fun. Everybody chooses a. Oh, sorry, you're right. Never mind. Just kidding. You read it. Everyone uh, choose a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, uh, Angelina uh, Jolie. I don't know why, but I'm thinking Jack Black. Um, Nicholas Cage. Nice, nice. Suddenly forgotten every celebrity name <laughs> I've ever heard. Um, Think of a movie. Let's go. Uh, uh. <laughs> Name one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so hard? Name um, a movie. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go with uh, Chris Pine. Okay. Play order is decided based on how likely it is the selected celebrity is secretly related to Bun Bun. Start debating <gasps> now. Oh. Bun Bun? Oh. The zombie or? Um, I, feel, um, I feel like it'd be the person, the person only because... I don't. Yeah. I don't think any of them would be related. Uh, well, Jack Black's definitely not <laughs> related to you. Well, maybe. I don't know. He's a white guy. I don't know. Chris Pine's Chris also Pine's a white guy. A similar hair color. Mine's is unnatural though. <laughs> it does. I mean, and he has blue Green eyes. Thing. I don't have blue eyes. I don't know what color Jack Black's eyes are. I don't even know what Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we want to talk about semantics right my mom was obsessed with con air so i've seen nicholas cage like a hundred times in my oh, life he's got blue eyes. Mm. i do not have blue eyes but my grandmother did oh ah i guess which one would could you most likely see at like a thanksgiving dinner honestly jack black is probably the first one <laughs> uh, because okay I don't know how to do I, I, Is there a nice way to say because he's annoying like me? I don't know. <laughs> I feel I'd... like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> she just agrees. You know what? Right, uh, yes. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, Jack Black. that's Jack Black. I feel like, like Bun Bun picking the right order based on who he <laughs> guessed is just so, appropriate. I'm Girl. also going to say Jack Black because I feel like, um, you both have like a clever sense of humor mm -hmm, ah mm -hmm. and like you're really good with fun. the like witty one-liners so i'm i'm definitely gonna vote <laughs> that's Jack all Black. i'm known for you guys fun you guys are fun to hang out with yeah so I'm, now i mean is it the yeah. same same one so then so, who would be the second most likely yeah, who's the second most likely chris, chris pines. pines chris pines mm -hmm. and that was lulu that's me and then i'd go with with uh Nicholas Cage before I'd say Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lunchroom. Noon. Ah, the covers. Oh. Okay. Oh, you gotta pick where you sit. <gasps> Nervousness. So, oh, you find Vera and Vera and Polly at their table, deep in conversation. All right, business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. Wow. Business idea. People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. 
<laughs> wow, actually. That's... There's definitely an audience for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. Business idea. Price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. Business idea! Nipples! <laughs> Just... Nipples? Yeah! <laughs> okay... Wait, wait, wait! Business idea! Use clever marketing and food science to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for an insane profit! That's... <laughs> actually a really good idea. Better than nipples? Yes. We just need to figure out what our new diet product will be. Oh man, I hope one of the options is cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh god, well, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. It's what's for lunch. <laughs> Tapeworms. Tape the gluten free, diet free, or dairy free, and 100% organic, and they can get them for free from the sick cows. And meth, that's what's for lunch. And you know what? I'm pretty sure I know who would love the meth answer. Oh, yeah. You know, I was just complaining the other day that I made way more meth than I can ever do myself. Yep, I knew it. The profit, mar bleh, the profit margin will be incredible. The problem is the name. Meth has a very terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. You mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder or probably not meth? <laughs> yes, except not either of those. Oh, 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 I know. I've got the perfect name. Don't say. Nipples! Kill me. <laughs> but it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for the drug you want to sell to high school students. <laughs> Polly makes a killing and drug dealing. Uh, turns to be a very romantic bonding experience for the two of you. Nice. Nice. Okay, this one's easy for me. <laughs> you come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while eating her serfs chow down obe- uh, while her eating serfs chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, this silverware is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? That's, that's lame as hell. Basically useless. I mean, you don't even need it. You don't even eat. Your servers do it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not even using any of your silverware. Naturally, they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands as befit the lower classes. So you're saying the silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes. <laughs> These two could go round and round like this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Dun dun. All okay. right, Damien's right, Mary. Maybe it is time you started murdering <gasps> people with your silverware. <laughs> or lay off Miranda, Damien. What about your collection of exotic corpses? Oh man, the best kind of corpses. The best. Right. Mm. I have to agree. <laughs> I mean, I was just giving her shit, but I am in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Space. Oh, how barbaric. <laughs> Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Yep. 100%. Absolutely. Well, all right then. Yum yum, Daisy, take the sharpest of these silverwares in your filthy peasant hands and go a murdering, will you? I was kind of hoping you would do the, do the murdering yourself. If we're living in an age where a lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what the world is coming to. It's fair. Fair enough. As long as the murders get done, and I guess I don't care. Miranda even outsources some silverware to mur murder to you and Damien as a team. It really b brings you closer together. Oh. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got Scott, Liam, the Coven, or Cat Girl. Cat, Cat Girl is the is the shopkeeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You buy things from her. 
Yeah. I do have money. I'm too broke to hang out with her. <laughs> <laughs> so you have ten money, so you're actually doing pretty yeah. good. Have here. you done a, a voice yet for one of the characters? Do you want me to do this one? I think you should. <laughs> All right. Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures, even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So, take a look. Oh. Okay. A, a snake corpse. dagger. A blanket with two holes. Literally <laughs> just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots. That's why they're stuck <laughs> in high school forever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so most of these will like boost the stat, um, and these two or will start an event. Rock event, yeah. Oh, thank you for telling me. <laughs> um, I assume how that sexy seven flat enough. My a motivational poster. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna fake badass tattoo. Tattoo. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then murder them too. <laughs> and go to some kind of super prison. Street, <laughs> street cred plus 9,000. I like the super. Nice. Super prison. All right. Super prison. Go talk to the coven. Oh. Ooh. You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three, tr th three throats clearing. Oh, they look cool. Ahem, ahem, ahem. <laughs> yes, hello. As you know, it is customary for a benevolent witch coven to have, as an ally, a malevolent creature of some sort. Oh. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now, I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks, <gasps> we've decided oh. to accept you on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. It's fair. Mm -hmm. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventures. Three episodes? You could knock out one of these adventures by the end of lunch, and it actually sounds fun. The coven gives you two options. Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and using them to rob banks. You have a never-before-seen plan. Take on the greatest villain of all, income equality. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> it turns out income equality is the name of a giant goblin made of money that's been terrorizing the city. Oh. Fair. You attack it in the only way you know how. Stealing. <laughs> it's working. All that money you stole was load-bearing. The goblin is going to collapse. Yeah, that was totally your plan. You definitely weren't just stealing the money because you wanted money. Yeah, never. Excellent. The day is saved once again, thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick, Bun Bun. Nice. It turns out the best way to defeat income equality is by robbing from the rich and giving to yourself. You gain plus four <gasps> money. Nice. I have so much money now. Yeah. All the monies. Oh. Clear order. Let's do the challenge again. Okay. Chooses an occupation. All right. An occupation. Uh, streamer. Dog walker. <laughs> Chef. CEO. Nice. I was going to say game style, Okay. That doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> the player order is decided based on how funny a TV show America's Next would be. Funnier. Funnier. America's Next. Right, Wow. America's well, next I'm pretty sure Chef already Arthur? exists. Yeah. America's Next Dog Walker would be pretty funny. That would be pretty <laughs> funny, yeah. Uh, I, I, I feel like that would be funny, too, even though it was my pick. <laughs> I vote Dog Walker. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, like do. I like Dog Walker for first, for sure. Yep, yep. All right, second. No, you, you voted for me. Oh, I voted for you because that's where my name was last time. My bad. <laughs> no worries. You... All right. Just kidding. Uh, so, Lou, what did you say? A chef. Chef. I said CEO. <laughs> I mean, that C seems like what? a really intense kind of show. America's Next CEO. CEO. That would be intense. Yeah, I, I think it was slightly funnier than mine. Okay. I okay. think I still have to pick fourth. Pick fourth. <laughs> yep. Evening. Oh. 
Okay, so the shop is in the library right now. Okay. Is it important to have items? Uh, no, depends. it depends on if you like you want to get your stat up to a certain point. Um, as like long as it you... doesn't hurt my feelings. Yeah, some of your choices you'll succeed or fail at based on how high your stat is, and uh. then certain characters need you to have uh, like a threshold to successfully ask them out. I see. Mm. Okay. Oh, so that um, day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect. Oh, it's the same thing. You respect yeah. no authority. On the way there, you run into Mama Mimi. Oh, Mama Mimi, the Oni <laughs> girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. Hell yeah. Ooh. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of that shit. Guarana seed extract. Benzoic acid, 50 mg of caffeine, and 100 mg of boldness. Benzoic oh, acid. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't that bad at all? You gain plus two bonus. Thanks, Mamimi. And thank Mamimi and proceed to the bathrooms. <laughs> You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, BBE, let's party. How can you refuse such a formal missive? You track her down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be lame, and that needs to change. See, it's a costume party, you know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans. I'm going to as a sexy tax attorney. But I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of the lameitude. So, got any ideas to help spice things up? Hmm. Oh, oh you've, you've got, got some <laughs> ideas, but and they're the spiciest. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I look okay. away. Oh man, I need to know which ones, which one does one stat? You You're know, cheating. No, I don't. I, I'm not cheating. I'm cheating. Well, the only thing I'm cheating on is actually knowing what stat you need to have to romance them, but I don't uh, know what any of the answers do. I think I know what stat I need for the one I want, but I is don't it, know for sure. And it's okay. Is it money? Yeah, I just... <laughs> look, there is one person that, that goes by the money, and she has very Snakes. exotic hair. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But she... She just needs boldness, fun, and that's all I'm trying to shoot for is boldness and fun. My boldness is where it needs to be, but I need to be more fun. It's already at a then, nine. Yeah, yeah. those stats are pretty good. Which one so. seems yeah. funnier? It's what would be fun, then. It would be more fun. Spike the punch with a modern root, and it turns monsters into actual humans. Okay, you go as a sexy taciturn, I'll go as a sexy tax evader. Uh, which one sounds costume. funner? Yeah. Which one? I think Mandrake Root sounds more fun, but, you know, it's not my decision. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's see this Close one. your eyes and click. Uh, I'm oh, so you got smart. Sorry. Got smart. Later, no, cool. that night at the party. Ha! <laughs> this is nuts. Look at all these humans in human costumes. For Gina, the party owlbear totally just turned into a sumo wrestler. <laughs> and Larry the Lich looks exactly like former United States President Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Larry doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. Uh, he, wow. Every newly transformed human at the party comes complete with a full lifetime of memories, a childhood, family, friends. They have no recollection of their lives as a monster and are all currently going insane from the cognitive, cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Manny and the Manticore? just turned into a retired cop who is screaming for his estranged wife and two sons pranked <laughs> in about four hours all of these newly created people will, will revert to their previous forms essentially murdering these new identities lol <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime you and polly have a great time scaring the shit out of actual humans and streaming it online you get plus two creativity and plus one fun you got one nice. fun yeah, yeah. <gasps> it's me oh god where do i want to go Go outdoors again. Part 
A tree rave. Rave tree. That's true. I mean, it looks so cute. All right, I'll go it back outside. I'm so happy to be there. Oh, that, that day, day, that during, day during the rave. Oh. Is it going to be the oh, sorry. Party? You're fine. I remembered I was reading my own, so that's why you weren't reading. <laughs> That day during okay, recess, yeah. you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magician Latino cat, who you start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll, the president, and the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. What? Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear that story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or so burst into hysterical laughing. You turn on a mobile app with that captures all of the laughter and turn it into too fun. Me like me. In the wake of all that, you overhear Miranda and Polly discussing a party. Oh, Polly, I am terribly excited for your upcoming party. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sick. Hey, speaking of which, you got money, right? How about picking up some party favors? Oh, I'd be delighted. How many balloons should I purchase? I don't care. Just make sure you get enough noctrous oxide to fill them all. What's nitrous oxide? Is that something land dwellers breathe? Well, it's pretty much all I breathe, if that's what you're asking. Hmm, I don't know about that. How about a cake? What kind of cake would you like? Cake? I think you're mispronouncing cocaine. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced cake. I like mine with pink frosting. And I like mine injected into my eyeballs. And speaking of eyeballs, I don't think we're really seeing eye to eye right now. Too true. Perhaps our friend Bun Bun can suggest some mutually agreeable <laughs> use for my vast riches. You should get Polly a pinata. You don't want anyone to get hurt, though. So the only really safe thing to fill it with is nice soft bags of cocaine. Miranda, you like clowns, right? I know this website that lets you hire clowns, firefighters, doctors, and tuxedo guys. It's called definitely not strippers.com, and it's a hundred percent <laughs> legit. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> totally not strippers.com. There we go. So fun. You pull up definitely not strippers.com on Miranda's phone just so she can see for herself. 20 minutes later. Hello? Miri? Sorry, you were talking to me? I seem to have been distracted by the photographs on my phone here. What were we talking about, clowns? Yes, fine. Order a hundred of them. And another hundred for the party. Later, at the party, you get to see those buff clowns fit into a lot of things besides tiny cars. What? You gain oh, plus two creativity and sus. plus one fun. Ooh la la. Seems. So sus. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do I want to do here? You know what? Let's go to some night classes. Ooh. Ooh. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. <laughs> you gain plus two smarts. So smart. I love the ghosts in the background wearing the, like, baseball cap. <laughs> I think you can romance him. Yeah, he shows up somehow. You know. Vera showing an elaborate new necklace to Miranda. They're the crown jewels of Lemuria. My family acquired them in a cutthroat business merger. Do you like them? Oh, yes, very much. Such a shame about the Lemurian royal family, though. What? That they're all dead at the hands of their own servants? No, no, that was unavoidable once the true tragedy had taken place. They were no longer loved by their subjects. Oh. Feared, you mean. Oh no, fear is so scary. Love is what matters. I could not disagree more. You there, settle this dispute for us. What is the best way to let people know how powerful you are? Oh. Buy their houses, burn them down, or replace them with a water park. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to convince any ever anyone. Just make everyone who doesn't love you disappear. Oh. Mm. They're both pretty dark. Ah, uh, yes. This is Daddy's strategy. 
Oh no. The amazing thing is that once the bad people start to disappear without explanation, even people who used to be bad start being very good. It's like magic and so humane. Yeah. Do you happen wow. to know where your father put all those people who disappeared? Put them? <laughs> no, silly. They're disappeared. Like a magic trick. Ah, uh, yes. I see. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts as well as yet another reason to never visit Miranda's kingdom. Yeah, I can't tell <laughs> if like they're saying dead dead or like, you know, they dead, disappeared missing, from the secret right? police. Yes, they yep. disappeared. Yeah. And they're never Weak. coming back. Weak. Oh, I only have five money. Okay. Bunny. Hmm. I did the auditorium last time, so I'm going to try not to double up. That day, that an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. Uh -huh. You explain to her the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so this beautiful friendship will take place off-screen. And plus Aww. two charm! <laughs> It's me, I am friend. <laughs> I am friend. After dodgeball comes the obstacle course. You stare across the gym at it, terrified as you as are most of your classmates. There are giant centipedes, venomous bears, bloodthirsty magpies circling just under the ceiling, and animals so bizarre one can barely find words to describe them. Oh. Oh, who wants to do him? Uh I'll try. <laughs> I'll try him. <laughs> Wait, Ooh, right, you're, you're gonna be all three. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. You would be all three. Should we? Uh, uh, should we do a different one? Should I do it? I'll do it. <laughs> okay. All right, class. I've imported these special course from regular creatures high school in New South Wales, Australia. Don't be afraid. I believe in each and every one of you. These terrifying creatures will not break your wheel. I will not let you down, Coach. Giant crocs don't scare me. This is not pee on my pa this is not pee on my pants. <laughs> Scott Family worth of adversaries. What's that abomination over there even called? That would be a platypus. <gasps> ah. I'm gonna drag it into hell. The underworld has never seen such horror. Well, don't just stand there. Show them what you got. Clear the course. Oh. We've got to go native, mates. Oi, hold my beer. <laughs> oh, have a look at them. They're so cute. Let's play them with kindness. Oh, oh. yeah, no. <laughs> hold the beer. Hold the beer. <laughs> you grab your trusty bow Bowie knife, slam a six-pack of Fosters, and wade into the obstacle course. You dispatch armed platypi, <laughs> fend off magpies by whipping them with snakes, and punch a koala. Wow. After winning an arm wrestling match against a drunk crocodile, you instantly become a hero. Whoa, that was awesome. You even made cro Coach cry. It's tears of joys. The will of youth really did find a way. Damien sees it too. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not crying. It's just so much murder. I love his blushy face. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Your glorious slaughter of endangered animals will go down in history. You gain plus two fun and one boldness and a lawsuit from Green Truce. I didn't know platypi were endangered. I knew other ones were. They are now. Nice. I wonder if that counts as a venomous oh, bear. No. Oh, no. Something <laughs> happened. To no, trick. That's me. That me, no. That weekend, you decide to take some rest from your very wacky day-to-day -day adventures and enjoy some refined pleasures instead. <laughs> Yes, the pizza joint. <laughs> so you go to an art exhibition with your most sophisticated friends, Vera, Liam, Miranda, Bun Bun, and Emma. Yo. Nice. Ah, oh, the delicacies of pictorial art. It's so nice, and there are always a lot of kings and queens and princesses. Yes, art is quite fine. I love how wicked it can get. The government is always trying to say movies and video games make people violent, but I think that's not fair. True. 
art has been way more violent for centuries before movies and video games were even created. Like, look at this one. This dude Saturn is totally eating his own baby. That's not nice. Here, let me practice one of my family's most beloved customs. Censorship! Nice! <laughs> Miranda gets some crayons and colors over the painting, so Saturn is now eating a delicious sandwich. Et voila! This is quite a nice Saturn of events! <laughs> Not sure which is worse. You're you horribly desecrating a valuable piece of art or that terrible pun. But the owner of the exhibition seems quite certain of which is worse. <laughs> what have you done? You rascals have destroyed a classic piece of art worth millions. You'll have to pay me back for this. By painting a new piece of art as good as the last one was, and you can't leave until you've compensated me. Oh. Dang! How can you, a high schooler, paint something as good as a piece revered worldwide? Obviously, but by teaming up with one of your friends, who, despite also being high schoolers, are at least very artsy high schoolers. But which one? Uh, artsy, artsy. Which one? Ooh. Which one's more artsy? Had a terrible vacuum cleaner accident last year and was forced to get a hand transplant, and word is he received Goya's actual hand. Oh, oh. Emma knows all kinds of weird colors like Bordeaux, Marsala, and turquoise, which means they are either a skilled artist or a douchebag smartass. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Bun Buns. You and Bun Buns start unleashing your art skills as if there was no tomorrow. Use more green. Make it more avant-garde. Add some flowers. <laughs> the two of you do all that and more in, in a matter of minutes you've replicated Saturn devouring his son but now it's like way more cooler yeah. <laughs> you name it sour Saturn devouring his son with a side of onion rings <laughs> not bad majestic it seems we were finished yet you orchestrated the ultimate comeback a true renaissance the exhibition or owner comes back and is utterly astonished by your work. <laughs> this is beyond words. It even makes me want to have some children of my own in order to devour them. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're free to go. I feel the need to give you 50,000 money for this beautiful piece. Huzzah! And so you invite everyone out for ice cream, which turns out to be kind of expensive. You and Bun Bun each only have three money left over. But what a great day! Wow. Wow. The most expensive ice cream. Straight places. Ooh. So mean. Player order. Challenge Going again. Yeah. yeah. Challenge. Yeah. Everybody choose an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before you click. <gasps> Turtle. Possum. I'm gonna go with lion. Raccoon. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how intriguing a new Game of Thrones house would be if it had the selected animal as its sigil. Oh! <laughs> oh so intriguing. Wow. Look right. at me picking an animal that already has Yeah. <laughs> we don't it? need any more Lannisters. Uh, Turtle, I mean, possum, I mean, lion. at the rate they're going, there won't Raccoon. be any left. So true. Raccoon. True, oh, true. I want to see House Possum and House Raccoon against each yeah. other. I mean, they feel like yeah. they belong in the same universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. which kind of garbage are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh, I want to see Raccoon. Yeah. Oh, I, I kind of really want to see Possum in first place, personally. I, I would, feel like Possum would feel be better, like they're, they, There's more hissing happening, and they're better <laughs> at playing dead. <laughs> Than a raccoon. Oh yeah! Raccoons, oh, gosh. raccoons look kind of like not that threatening until you get up real close. Otherwise, they're just like, "Oh, look at that big cat washing his hands." I mean, <laughs> I just I was trying to picture like the catchphrase would be for possum, like the possum, a possum always, like that kind of thing, like pays its death. Your own always, death. yeah, always fakes its own death. First. Yeah, <laughs> a possum always fakes his own death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah. They can't I, kill you if they think you're already dead. So it's uh -huh. Emma first, yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. 
I feel like the raccoon. I, I feel like raccoon. Color. What was it? Raccoon? Turtle? Awesome. Turtle. Turtle. Okay. I feel like raccoon definitely gets oh, God. a good, is a good one. Turtle, I feel like is very defensive. So that could also be a really good crest. I picture like the turtles from the never ending story and they look cool in this aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Turtles is like, you can't get me. Yeah. True. Turtles, turtles always move or carry their house on their back. True. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. Go trick two. Home goes with you. I, I mm. kind of vote turtle. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with I turtle. Like it, I, like it. I thought we'd already picked turtle. I'd already clicked it. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. Oh shoot. <laughs> I feel like mine's the lamest, so it has to be fourth because it's already an animal for a house crest. True. True. Okay. I'm gonna stop being boring next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go unicorn gonna next time. Unicorn. Like oh, I love unicorn. See. Okay. Um. That day you spend some time on the library PC playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gained <laughs> plus two money. Afterwards, Miranda summons you. It feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her merman goons. Thank you for coming, my dear. I have finally decided to trust you with my most important aspiration. I am destined to be the queen of prom. The royal ascension is nigh. <gasps> we must prepare. Most of my competition is naive. They it's foolishly assume that prom queen Ooh. is a pure...